Hey, what's up guys? This is Lamit Sane of El Swat and it's New Year's Eve today. I hope you're all excited for the new year and I have a little nice little present for you guys here on YouTube and today we're going to be doing a jQuery um, scroll to top widget link and I'll just show you quickly what we're going to be making. It's going to be a very quick tutorial and I hope you're going to enjoy it. All right, so sometimes like you have a, a website page that has a really long scrolling um, height so as you, the user scrolls to the bottom, you sometimes don't want the user to scroll back up. You just want to make it convenient to them and provide a link so they can scroll back up to the top very quickly. And that's what we're going to be making, a link that when you click it, automatically scrolls your page back to the top. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. So stay tuned for the tutorial. Okay, so here we are in our text editor. And as you can see, we have a simple project structure with just few files. And we have a CSS main.css file and uh, main.js and we've included jQuery. So I just went ahead and created this boilerplate template so we don't have to waste some any time on that. And we have one image file which is this one you're seeing in the browser right here. And that's what we're going to style and actually make it to bring it to the bottom right corner of the screen here. So when you click on it, it scrolls you back to the top. Okay, so let's go in our main.css and actually start sky styling that page and this link right here. So if you notice, that link has a class of scroll to top link, so that's what we're going to target. So let's go in our main.css and we're going to make sure that it goes to the bottom right corner of the screen. And first of all, we have to give it a um, position of um, fixed so that no matter what is in the page, it doesn't get this link doesn't get affected by those elements and we give it a width of 50 pixels and then we give it a right value of um, let's say 10 percent we give it a bottom value of um, 10 percent as well okay so now no matter the height of this page this link here will always show okay so also if we hover over the link we want it to have a pointer cursor and um, by default it's going to be displayed none okay I'll, I'll when we scroll down the page that's when we want that to show because when the user is at the top there's no need for that link to be showing okay so next what we're going to style is the page wrap let's give it a um, a height which is taller than this page right here and actually give it also a background so that it looks kind of nice okay, so we say page wrap let's say background color of um, light gray and let's give it a height of let's say um, 1000 pixels so that it is taller and we have something to scroll around with. So as you can see now we're scrolling. So now we want that when the user scrolls to the bottom, clicks and goes to the top. Okay. So that, that's the end of the CSS. Now let's go in our JavaScript file and actually start writing some jQuery. So first of all, we are going to create a self invoking function. I'll do a separate tutorial to explain what that means. But um, as for now, just go along with it. So you have a, a function wrapped inside a bracket and also you invoke the function immediately. The reason for that is we want to enclose all our inner functions inside a closure so that they're not um, in the global scope because you don't want to be putting stuff in the global scope. So we have a, um, a variable here which is called link and that's what we're going to store the element for our image which is clicked here to go to the to take us to the top of the page and we also have another function called toggle scroll to top scroll to top link and it's going to be a function and we'll come back to um, the implementation of that function in a moment First, next, we're going to have to write a document dot ready function as usual, so that when the page loads, that's when we want to run these things. Just pardon me, guys, if all this is confusing. I'll explain in another video. Um, I know self invoking function and all of this stuff is something that trips people a lot. So, when the document loads, now we want to initialize the link and. Because we know that it has a class of scroll to top link, we say scroll to top 
properly. Okay. So now we want that when a user scrolls the window by using the jQuery scroll event handler. So window dot scroll. We have to call this toggle um, toggle scroll to top link. Okay. So we copy that and paste that here. So that will only run when the user scrolls so that's why we want what happens in this function is that we're going to show or hide this link that's been hidden here okay and initially we want to call that by default so when the page just loads that we want to call that okay so now let's go there and actually implement that so what we want to do is we want to check if the if the user is at the top of the page we want to um we want to hide that link but when the user scrolls down we want to show it okay so how we do that is we say if dollar sign body dot scroll top is more than zero or dollar sign html and the reason we do in the html as well is because some browsers do not recognize the body scroll top they only recognize HTML and that might change but um, I've had some issues with some browsers with that so that's why we're doing it okay so now what's we're checking if the scroll top that is the distance between the body and the top of the window if it's more than zero that means the user has scrolled then show that link and because that link is stored in a variable called link we're going to fade it in so we say fade in and we give fade in over 400 milliseconds else that is if the user is at the top of the page we um, fade out the link so link dot fade out over a period of 400 milliseconds as well okay so now let's go in our um, page and test that so as you can see as I scroll down this shows and when I scroll up and I reach the top of the page it hides okay so now as you can see when I click it nothing happens so let's go ahead and actually take care of that so since we know that it is stored in a variable called link we're going to say link dot on click so when a user clicks that link we're going to run this function that takes us to the top of the page yet again we're going to say dollar sign buddy capture the body and scroll top on sorry, sorry animate so we're going to animate the body and set its scroll top property to zero and we're going to just duplicate that and set it also to the HTML just for browsers that don't recognize the um, body element okay so that's all we need to do guys and if we have done everything correctly without any syntax errors this should work just fine so as I scroll down this shows and when we reach the bottom of the page when I click it it takes us to the top of the page okay so that's it guys for this tutorial video I hope um, you guys enjoyed it it was meant to be really short and if you really liked it please rate subscribe and comment and share this video please because it really does help and motivate me to do more as well in the future and um, that's it I wish you all a, a happy new year in advance and um, I shall see you soon on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.